Sandrine, welcome to the cave. Thank you for having me. Thank you for giving me a few minutes today for uh, your new film coming out April 29th, The Aviary. Theaters, digital, VOD. I recently had Malin and Lorenza on for press day for this. Uh, and one of the first things I told them was, because uh, I watched it the night before and I told them, thanks for the nightmares. <laughs> well, you're you're one step ahead of me because um, I am not, I, I haven't seen the film yet. So I'm seeing it on Saturday. Uh, so uh, how did you let's find out, how did you get involved with this project? And uh, what are you kind of hoping the fans when they tune in to watch this? What do you, yeah. Um, well, uh, I got the script last year. So it was kind of when work was starting to pick up. Okay. You know, after the pandemic. And I think people were freaked out and, you know, and so I, Anyway, I got the script and I, I, it's about a cult and I love all cult-ish stories and documentaries. So um, already I was interested and it was just very well written and um, they saved me from the pandemic. Uh, <laughs> and it was great, it was fun. Um, so you played Delilah, like, so when you read, what was her description that was given to you? Um, there was no description. It was okay. just sort of, um, I was just given the script and I just read what she was about. And um, I mean, I, I was literally on the film for two, I think two or three days. Um, yeah. So yeah, but uh, yeah, it, I just thought it was, I just wanted to be a part of it because um, I thought it was really good. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I mean, if you like, uh, w when you see it, also you'll know right away. It's like right away. It's like you mentioned, like the thriller and the cults and everything, and like what's going through the characters of Malin and Lorenza. And it's like mm -hmm. it it sucks you in pretty good. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> so, but we don't we don't see your character like near the till the end of, of the movie. Uh, and your mm -hmm. scenes are with like Chris. Describe that chemistry with you two. And it's a, it's a powerful scene. Oh, great. Um, well, uh, you know, we had two directors. So we had Chris and then we had Jennifer, uh, Chris Pilari. And uh, I guess they, they were directing different portions. So Jennifer was, was directing that specific scene uh, that day. And, uh, you know, we had our dialogue and we just they allowed us to play around with it. So we sort of improvised around it and tried to find different moments. And we had cameras kind of, mm. I guess they were GoPro cameras yep. kind of placed in different spots. So it was easy. It was easier to improvise off, yeah. of, off of it. Yeah. And what about like the, the scene that you're with Chris Messina, like the, the actor playing, um, oh my God, I can't think of his uh, name. The cult leader, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the cult leader. Um, it was great. I mean, we, I, you know, we didn't, I guess because of the pandemic, there was no rehearsal or anything. So we just met that day and sort of dove into the scene. And um, I don't know, just everything was perfect. Like the sets were perfect. And our, I thought our chemistry was, was good for, what was required mm. and um we found little little things here and there and things just happened by themselves and um it was really nice mm. to have that did, you, did you get to interact at all with uh malin and uh lorenza yeah. at all too yeah i did yeah. and they're they're lovely as you know because you interviewed them um yeah i had a couple of like spooky scenes with them um and i got to know them and uh it was just like a nice, a nice group of people. Yeah. I know Molly had, had a little bit of like producing and directing also. Did she give you any yeah. like point, pointers out there play the, to do your scenes? She was, great. she was very calm. She set the tone on set. She was lovely. She's so friendly and made everybody very comfortable. Uh, we were shooting really far away. Mm. I actually don't even know where we were. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, it was great. I mean, it was such a huge undertaking to get something made. Uh, you know, I mean, in general, it is an undertaking, but just at that specific time as well. So it's great because, like, if you go like on on IMDb, you see the listing. There's only four cast members. It's you, yeah. Chris, and 
Molly Lorenzo, which is like, you never see films like that. Yeah, which, I, I enjoy films like that. I enjoy those very simple, like smaller casts where you really get to explore stuff. Do you find it easier working with a smaller cast compared to like a bigger project? Well, um, yeah, in a way, because there's like less cooks in the kitchen, you know, mm. and um, it, there's a simplicity about it that I always think ends up in positive results. So yeah, okay, definitely. So. Now, what's your plan? Movie theater or are you renting it to watch this? Um, I think I'm gonna go to the movie theater. Yeah, this which will probably be the first time I've been in a movie theater in like two years. Wow. Yeah. What a way to go! Get to see a, a, a you know, like a, pretty much like a thriller like this. And there's a lot, there's a lot of dark scenes in it too. So now, what's next for you? Like any other projects that you're allowed to tell us about, so that when the viewers yeah. and listeners tune um, in, they can follow you. Yeah. Um. There's one project I'm I'm doing, but I I can't talk about it. Um. Yeah. Uh. But there's uh. I'm working on a show called Beacon Twenty Three, which is a sci-fi situation in um uh that i'm shooting in toronto so that's what i'm working on at the moment oh yeah and then i'm working on this um this show called american gigolo for showtime okay that's yeah. awesome uh lastly how can the listeners and the viewers uh find you on social media to keep up with you oh i'm i'm not very social media savvy um but i have instagram it's not on my phone, so I, I only check it maybe once a, once a week. Hey, uh, Sid, yeah. Sidrine, this I have Duolingo on my phone now, so <laughs> I'm Italian. There you go. Uh, I want to thank you for coming on, uh, and uh, yeah, good luck with the pleasure. film and everything. This, uh, like I said, this film is is good. You know, hopefully, oh, you have I'm so excited that you. So like hopefully, the people that tune in to watch it think the same. Great. Thank you for coming well, on. Thank, thank you for having me. No problem.